Hey guys, it's Fury, and the Adopt Me Halloween update has not long been dropped into the game. So I'm going to show you my tricks to get some extra candy from the mini games. So let's get started with the actual video. I'm using a private server to do all these so I can at least get ghosts. Let's just continue and like go to the actual Halloween place and I can show you guys all the mini games. I won't be recording the mini games here because I cannot do them on phone. I've tried like so many times. I also think all the pets are really cool, like the details and stuff, like the ghost bunny. And I also like the fact that the like the free headed dog is going to be available after. I'm sure probably everyone's seen all the pets, so I'm just going to quickly go to the mini games. If I could record on laptop, I really would, but I can't because like I haven't got a proper recorder. I also went around yesterday asking people how to do like the pumpkin patch stuff and one person told me a good technique which I'm going to tell you guys. I think the pumpkin patch one is easy to explain so I'm actually just going to start with that one first and it's pretty much the easiest mini game out of the two to actually be able to complete. So for this one you are going to want to stand at this part of the circle like really close to the fence that way and then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to run up here. You need three pumpkins to actually get times two, so and there's three pumpkins at the start. So there's a certain route to this. So I suggest you do these first, and then you go up these, and get those three, and then get all the ones up here. So there's quite a few up here. And then what you want to do is you want to dodge this so you don't bounce up, then get all these ones. And all the bouncing pumpkins, you want to get all them as well. You want to go up this pumpkin, and you're going to want to go up on this one and get all the ones up here. So then, you, what you want to do is, there's two more bouncing pumpkins here. So you're going to want to do all them. Probably do the platform first here. And then do that one. And then go backwards, see if there's any miss or any more that's been, like, teleported in. I didn't, like, find this out until last night when I actually looked for videos. See how to get, like, good, like, amount of sweets. But... I didn't do this and I got like 11,000 points by just doing it, doing like the normal routine you usually do. I also do recommend using hyperspeed potions which are like these that I've got here. You're going to want to load them because then you can run really 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 fast to like get all the pumpkins quicker. These are like 40 bucks at the Sky Castle or you could just get like the cauldron which are like 300 and something I think. Now let's go on to like the Spirit Showdown. Yeah, Spirit Showdown. So, Spirit Showdown is like the harder one actually because of the boss ghost at the second stage. But if you, I recommend it at stage one, you get a thousand points. So, usually, ghost always spawns here, like around here. My cousin doesn't know this, but I always do. He always goes down there for ghosts. I can't see them because sometimes, oops, ignore that. <laughs> so this is where usually one ghost spawns and I think thinking about it like a couple of ghosts spawn near the pumpkin smash as well so one I see actually get a thousand points if you're on a public server it's easier to get like the boss ghost quicker I got like a like a thousand by doing that but I only got a thousand with a boss because I couldn't get any normal ghosts since everyone was going for them there was like 20 people at once going for one ghost and I couldn't find any because like loads of people were going for them so I think that if you actually get a thousand points at stage one that should get you a decent amount so the boss ghost always spawns here and if you notice when it attacks like the this purple like what is it like steam there we go and then it pushes you back and seizes you with fear. Now if you have a speed potion, you like with a pumpkin splash, you can just run off away from it. So that might actually help you. And if like you're frozen with fear, like it will be above you. So if you have a friend with you, which is recommended, they can come and quickly suck it up. And if you're sucking, whoever's sucking him, he will go for. That's something I also found out from someone else. So the link to their video will be down in the description if you want to check that out for the video. So that is my tip for the boss ghost anyways, which is pretty good to actually have two people. Because if you don't have two people, it will be super, super hard to actually do. It only gives you like a minute 
to do it, like a minute and a half to actually be able to defeat him. Me and my cousin even have done it once before, like for the third time, but actually trying to do it. So, yeah. I really hope this video did help you in a way, because there's not many videos out there that I've seen so far, and I found out so much from just asking. Which all I did was ask how to get pumpkins quicker, and someone just immediately came up to me and said, Just use Hype Speed Potions, it's easy to do that, so you can run really fast. So, yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope this does help you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show the actual footage because I'm on phone and it's really hard to do the mini games on phone for me because I'm always on laptop. So, if you do want to check the other dude's video out that I did find some things about without like asking, um, I will. Sh it will be in the description below. I can't speak. So, yeah, I really hope this video did help again. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like the video, and comment down if it did actually help you. Also, if you do want some extra candy day, there's 200 you get from the Headless Horseman, if you haven't checked him, look. So, every day you get 200 candy, I believe, every day, because I was on 2160, and now I'm on 2360 again. So, that might not get you, like, one thing. But it will, it's definitely worth it, because it's like 200, that's like two mini games done. If you do it like a normal way, I think. So, if you do want to check the guys' video out again, just go into the description. And hopefully, I see you in the animation, if you want to stay tuned for that. So, hope you have a great day, and I will see you next video. Bye!